Last week, the Senate Finance Committee and the entire Senate, to some extent, lost a dedicated public servant. And by the way, an all-around wonderful man with the unexpected passing of Chris Allen. Chris has been a member of the Finance Committee tax team since 2018. I was fortunate that he was willing to continue in that role when I reclaimed the gavel last year after the retirement of my friend and former chairman, Orrin Hatch. As members, we're blessed with the dedicated people like Chris who come to Capitol Hill to perform a public service. They come here to make a difference no matter what their party or ideology. They come from all walks of life, religious backgrounds, and from all over the country. They work long hours, and sometimes their work is stymied by the political headwinds that we know about here in the Congress of the United States. But when an idea is a good one, and the people pursuing it do so with a full heart and focused mind, it will eventually become law. Last year proved to be a year when a number of good ideas finally became law in the area of retirement security, and in a no small part because of Chris's hard work and dedication. After more than three years, we were finally able to pass the Finance Committee's Retirement Enhanced and Savings Act. And we use acronyms around here, and that's RESA. RESA became law after it was incorporated into setting every community up for Retirement Enhancement Act. And that acronym is SECURE. Chris was very instrumental in helping navigate the long and at times very contentious process that culminated in this important package of retirement provisions being enacted just before the last Christmas. Possibly even more important, Chris brought a very deep knowledge of multi-employer pensions to bear over the past several years to help us move forward on important returns, reforms. In the last Congress, Chris served as the staff director of the Joint Select Committee on Solvency of Multi-Employer Pension Plans. Congress formed this committee for the very important job of addressing the impending insolvency of a number of multi-employer plans and the projected insolvency of the multi-employer fund of Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. With Chris's steady hand and Chris's tireless efforts, the Joint Select Committee laid a critical foundation in 2018 for addressing the multi-employer pension crisis. And throughout all of 2019, Chris carried that work forward as a member of my Finance Committee staff. Through months of work with Finance Committee member offices, and also working with the HELP Committee, working with the PBGC, and most importantly, stakeholder groups that are affected by whatever reform we do. Chris was the one leading the effort to build on the Joint Select Committee's work of the previous year. That effort led to the development of the multi employer pension recapitalization and reform plan that Chairman Allen, 
Alexander and I released in November. Resolving the multi-employer pension crisis remains a top priority. And now, with another important reason to see it done in Chris's memory, because he put so much effort into where we are at this point. Now, while Chris has been a key asset to the Finance Committee on Retirement and Pension Plans, his depth of knowledge was very much deeper than just that issue. Prior to joining the committee, Chris served as Senator Roberts' senior tax policy advisor for seven years. And Chris played a key role in helping us develop and pass the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. And in that effort, he focused heavily on the tax rules affecting farmers and ranchers across the nation, which farmers and ranchers are a key interest of Senator Roberts and the state of Kansas. A close look at Chris's resume shows that he was very successful in working for the National Association of State Treasurers. And then with another organization, the Financial Accounting Fin Foundation. He also worked at other firms linked to his expertise in financial services, regulation, and legislation. What stands out about Chris is his ability to bring folks with very different views together in the classic legislative process. And boy, I watched him on this multi-employer pension issues that we have with how he navigated all that. I thought to myself, without Chris, this couldn't be done. You know, he had great ability with numbers and great dedication to public policy. That's what made Chris stand out. I'm confident that had the good Lord not taken Chris last week, he'd remain a fixture on the Finance Committee staff for many years to come. Public service was very simply at the core of Chris's identity as a professional. And a key to Chris's success was his genial nature. And you might not know it by looking at him, but he had a very quick wit. It seems like everybody felt comfortable with Chris. And Chris was comfortable with them. And he had a lot of contentious meetings. Some of them I had a chance to observe his working with the stakeholders on multi-employer pension. And I saw that comfort they had with him, even when he, he was trying to go maybe just a little different direction than certain interest groups maybe wanted to go. Because Chris knew that to get anything done in this body, you've got to work compromise. As you can tell with Chris, policy work was fun, policy work was important, and policy work, he saw it sustaining over a long period of time. And I hope I'm pointing out that this type of goodwill and dedication was infectious. Every day was meaningful. Every day was a source of joy. As I said in my statement on Friday night, after I learned of Chris's passing, Chris was a public servant who brought a deep well of knowledge to his work. Now we all know he's going to leave behind a legacy of impact on so many lives that he was able to improve with his expertise, with his confidence, and the example he set with his hard work. But he never let that keep him from living life to the fullest, especially where his family was concerned. You learn these things about staff family 
with the crisis of a passing. But Chris was a devoted father to two wonderful daughters, Lucy and Sophie. Chris was a loving husband for nearly 30 years to his wife, Linda Marie. Chris was a thoughtful and compassionate son and brother. Chris was a fierce friend to so many who came to know him during his 58 years. Chris knew how to live life. Losing Chris is extremely difficult for all of us. At times, the finger of God reaches down and takes a person that we know and love. It's not for us to know why that happened. What we do know is we all got to know Chris and got to know him well. He was part of our lives. And we all benefited from the time that we had with him. We're all blessed to have that. For his family and the countless others who had the good fortune to know and work with Chris Allen, a piece of him will live on with us, each of us, in every memory of him. Whether it was of Chris's pos positivity and sincerity, or the endless way he could inject humor into a very difficult situation, Chris was a blessing to those who were fortunate enough to know him. Rest in peace, my friend Chris Allen. God bless Chris's family, and may he show them his grace as they take these next steps in their own life's path. Chris will be greatly missed. 